I nailed it. Fuck, I nailed it. I got it. I got the first kiss. I got the first kiss on camera. Previously on Delos. After 700 miles of beautiful South Atlantic sailing, we spot Ascension Island on the horizon. So we're all up now, bright eyed and bushy tailed, and uh, we're ready for the day. Cool port control. I think that's Dallas, and welcome to Ascension Island. Could we request that you relocate, please? You'll need to move from where you are at the moment over to the area where the other yacht is currently um, anchored. And now, lovely Brian is um, making us all breakfast. What are you making for us, Brian? The huge. Huge. What's the huge? After passage meal. Pancakes and bacon. It's magical. Everybody's like that. Yeah. <laughs> eager. <laughs> eager. <laughs> Hungry troops over here. <laughs> Yo, you put slop on me. Slop. So she's getting ready for the army boys already. I put my scarf on. <laughs> you got a bit of foundation on too. <laughs> it's tinted baby cream, darling. Mag. <laughs> Don't do that when you see the boys. <laughs> He's proud and happy and boobies out. Get some cleavage going. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the plan now, right? I'm trying to listen to... Yeah, I think they're going to come and pick us up. Is the deal, which is interesting. So we go in and... So we go in and we take our paperwork and we check in. Try and sort some things out. Maybe explore. some information and uh, apparently swimming is kind of a problem now because there's been a little bit of a shark situation with some Galapagos um. sharks on the island and um, the beaches are quite rough so uh, we're not allowed to land by our own dinghy so we're going to be taking the little ferry boat in for the next few days and uh, we'll figure it out from there. But looks pretty cool so far. Uh, everyone is from St. Helena. I already love the accents again. Um, I want a beer. That was my, my thought, actually. I could go for an ice cold beer. They told us not to swim, but I don't like people telling me not to swim. That's about it. Yeah. Okay, so So, maybe we should split up teams. I'll go require about the internet situation. So it seems like 90% of all the shops are unfortunately closed <laughs> because we're not early enough. I think everything closes around 9 in the morning. Wait, there ain't nothing going on around here. No, it's, <laughs> it's pretty. 
Coast. Ascension Island is a big chunk of rock in the middle of the South Atlantic Ocean, almost directly between Africa and South America. It's an extinct volcano with very little vegetation and fresh water, and no native population. In fact, no one even lived on Ascension until the British built a garrison here to support Napoleon's exile to neighboring St. Helena. The one thing Ascension has going for it is location. Its longitude in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, with Europe and Africa to the east and the Americas to the west, is very unique. During World War II, the U.S. Air Force built an airstrip here, which was later lengthened as an emergency landing strip for the space shuttle. Now Ascension is home to a Royal Air Force Base, a U.S. Air Force Base, a GPS ground relay station, a BBC relay station, and a European Space Agency tracking station. Because of the clear views of the sky, one of the few ground-based radars that tracks space trash is also here. If you're one of the 700 or so people calling Ascension home, there's a really good chance you're involved with the military or space. Unless, of course, you arrive by sailboat. Ascension used to be a hot destination for sport and spearfishing, but the World War II era runway started breaking up, and it's no longer safe for larger aircraft. Now only short takeoff military flights are allowed. All commercial flights have been stopped, which is why the streets and restaurants are so deserted, and we just about had the entire place to ourselves. How did that go? <laughs> I got some information on data, and the mobile data is incredibly expensive. It is 20 pounds for 250 megs. So, for 250 megabyte package, 20 pounds. So we need charge per time. We need 10 of those. So it would be about 280 pounds to upload one video if we reduced it to half quality. And that's not without paying for the sim. You have to pay for the sim on top of that. Whoa. But there is another option. They have a a seven-day Wi-Fi package here. Oh. So that's 70 pounds. Oh. And the guy said that, and it's and there's no limit on that. It's limited by time. That's it. Yeah. So it's not capped. It's not capped. So um, basically, the guy said that I asked if we could leave a tablet in there, in his office. Yeah. And you know what else we learned? There's an American bar up the hill called the Volcano Bar. Are you super keen on that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking up here and it's like, oh, I just imagined like an American truck rolling by with like a bunch of guys on it or something. With their shirts off. <laughs> you were, sir. You were, sir. You were, sir. I would have swooned. She's keen as a bane. All right. So everyone is still at the restaurant, um, just like working along, but me and Alex, we've got nothing to do. And it's Alex's birthday weekend, so we've decided we're going to explore some parts. It's officially begun. I'm just going to start it right now. I'm going to be getting her some tequila shots, so we're excited. Yeah! <laughs> Girls on top! Woo! Okay, first stop of the adventure. We found a playground, and this one was pretty fun, so... <laughs> Spin it up. Spin me right round, baby, right round like a record, baby, right round, round. Whoa, round. I'm gonna fly off. <laughs> Good thing we did this before our tequila shots and not after. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We've met, uh, Elizabeth has met a really quick French dude right now and playing a game of pool with him. We've met a new friend. Yeah, this, so this is Eddie. We picked up Eddie and he's on a yacht just next door to us. And um, apparently we're on the American military base in Ascension Island. Okay, no. Okay. And I gave him two of these. 
St. Helena yeah. pounds and got back American Dude, dollars. Was the last time you saw those? It's been a long time, bro. We got a jukebox. We got football. We got free chicken fingers and ketchup. But last time I had chicken fingers, like on the boat, the ration of chicken is like that much per person every like maybe week. And there is no ketchup. There's no. Well, we have ketchup, <laughs> <laughs> but they're not breaded. I'll tell you that. Dude, this is like dinner for the for the whole time we're here. I'll walk 45 minutes to get chicken fingers. I think fingers. Brady's in heaven. I feel home. Yeah. He's got a double rum and coke, got his chicken nugget. America. Thank you, America. <laughs> what Brady failed to mention is that earlier, Elizabeth spotted Eddie wandering around town and started jumping up and down, yelling like a crazy woman. But Eddie didn't see her, or he ran the other way. We're still not sure. But being the excellent shipmates and wingmen that we are, Senior Brady and I lured him to the bar. It was sort of like throwing a lamb to a wolf. Mais. Je m'appelle Edouard. Um, je habite en Paris. Moi, c'est Bordeaux. Basically, we're at this American base and we met this really fucking cool French guy and he's gonna join us. It's Alex's birthday weekend and we're gonna celebrate in good form. We've had a taste of Americans tonight and we've met some really cool people and we're gonna enjoy the night for what it is. Two, two drinks, two no. cup holders. Brian, she just kissed me, I just beat her ass. You beat me by two points. And if it would have been one point, it would have been... Yeah, go off, My buddy here, Bradley's been here. From, uh, grew up in Orlando, I'm from Cocoa Beach. Here we are in Ascension Island, in the middle of the ocean, between Brazil and Africa. The Cocoa Beach, the Cocoa Beach, the Cocoa Beach. Okay, 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 okay. We've met, uh, Elizabeth has met a really cr crunchy dude right now. I'm playing a game of pool with him. I'm losing, but am I losing? Am I winning? I feel like I'm winning. <laughs> I think you're winning, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth. Hello. Let's get it on. Ah! I nailed it. I nailed it. I got it. I got the first kiss. I got the first kiss on camera. Nailed it. Done. Sorted. First kiss. Whoa, what timing. My name is Alex Blue. My friend Blue. I'm from California. Oh my God. Are you too? Special day today is Alex's yeah. birthday. Ooh. Yay. Alex Blue, Go we request out. you. Blue, come out. Blue. Happy Happy birthday birthday to you. You. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Do you feel like you're 28? Yeah, I feel a little hungover and my ears really wet. Ew! Hungover with a good tongue lashing. A wet willy? Happy B Day, Alex. Sweetest <laughs> massage for the B Day girl, including sweetest masseuse, parentheses, spelling? Because <laughs> I didn't spell it right, I think. Candlelight. Oil and fitting music. Oh, fitting Time music. whenever it fits with two T's, you. <laughs> with two T's, like spell. Until I get tired. <laughs> Until I get tired. <laughs> Look at those Swedish hands. <laughs> not the face. Oh, okay. I do not know this one. <laughs> so we're taking Alex. Uh, it's. it's a beautiful island with white sand beaches and clear water but we're gonna go to the local pool just to mix it up a bit. 
And, because uh, we're not allowed to swim here, apparently. Yeah, that's the other there's thing. There's those strong undertoes, and there's a lot of sharks. And we'll be swimming in the next few I'm days. I'm pretty but, sure we'd be all right, but yeah. I but don't know. It's all right, man. There's now rules. we don't get sand and things, and we don't upset people. Yeah, it's a change up. How often do you hang out at the pool? We got brought the floaties. We brought sandwiches. We brought ooh, turkey. <laughs> Our jug of alcohol. Filtered. <laughs> I'm working on my glutes. Uh, it's my birthday. <laughs> Welcome to my birthday party. <laughs> Four, Brady. Filtered vodka. <laughs> birthday. birthday. Happy Filtered birthday, vodka Alex. Filtered vodka like birthday. Well. We have no fucking idea. It's about 40%. 40%. <laughs> Who's Alice? Yeah, it's my girl. <laughs> Yo, best day ever. Look at this one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude! Yeah. Happy birthday, Alex! <laughs> After being in Ascension for a few days, it was time to start focusing on why we were really here. To explore the underwater world we'd heard so much about. We started hearing rumors about the aggressive sharks while we were still in St. Helena. And our first interactions with the locals of Ascension came with strong warnings of not entering the water for our own safety. The, the behavior of these sharks is definitely more inquisitive and more um, aggressive than anywhere else in the world I've seen it. It's the morning of our first dive around Ascension, so I'm gonna make some brekkie and wake these peoples up. <laughs> wake up. <Ooh>. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm... Oh, hey. Let's go diving. A few weeks before our arrival, a British woman was bitten while swimming just off one of the more popular beaches on the island. This incident had the whole island on edge. We always have an open ear to local knowledge and couldn't have gotten this far around the world without it. But our personal experience with sharks has been nothing but positive, and we know how often these animals are misunderstood. We've dove hundreds of times with hundreds of sharks without a worry in the world, but that doesn't change the fact that sharks generally have a bad rep wherever they show up. After discussing the risks, we all decided we were comfortable enough to get into the water here and see for ourselves what the situation really was. And the idea is to go down, this is about 15 meters, and then you're gonna go like northeast, something like that, and we should see a massive arc. It should be like 10 meters tall, something like that, in, in the reef. So then you can swim through that. And then once we go through that, we'll be probably down in 20, 25 meters. And then we'll kind of head northwest along the wall. We'll keep the wall to our left and come up this way. Depending on what the air is like once we get over here, we can head out and try and look for these anchors or depending on what the visibility is like. But basically I think we'll just go through the arc. We'll probably spend quite a bit of time around there getting some sweet footage, right? Because it's probably gonna be really cool. Yes. And then the last of the dive you can come up and then we can come up the reef back on this side. So this thing is all one big raised platform. And then we can hang out here for a bit and then slowly start ascending for the safety stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody go team divers! Team divers! Yeah. Oh, that's the worst one ever. <laughs> the worst one. Okay, we go.
first saw this big, beautiful Galapagos shark appear, we were pretty stoked to have our first shark encounter in these waters. But after a few minutes, we realized the behavior was different than any shark we had ever encountered. The shark had a different vibe and its fins were rigid and stationary. It would swim fast straight at us, only to turn away right at the last minute. The shark's swimming patterns were fast and erratic, not calm and curious like we were used to. This behavior, coupled with the many warnings we had received from the locals on the island, got the best of us, and we decided to call the dive. We turned around to swim back towards the dinghy and into a slight current, which in turn elevated our heart rates. It was amazing to pay attention to how perceptive the shark was to our behavior. The second we would calm down, take deep breaths and face him, he would relax and move further away. But once we started swimming and showing our nervousness, he would arc his back and come closer again. Instead of continuing up current, we decided to surface where we were and have Brian and Karen come pick us up, who were standing by in the dinghy. I'm I'm still shaking. Yeah. And I've never I've never felt like that. And we've dove with hundreds of sharks that I've never felt like this before. So after looking back through the footage, we realized our nerves had gotten the best of us. Sharks have lateral lines that run from their head down the sides of their body. It's basically a line of highly tuned sensors that can pick up on vibrations and even smells in the water. The shark was using its sensors to figure out what the heck we were by coming close and then turning his side to us, exposing his lateral line as much as possible. Once he felt our nervousness and elevated heart rate, his curiosity increased, which brought him closer, which in turn made us more nervous, and so on. Once we calmed our nerves and took some deep breaths, the shark could feel that and adapted to our vibe by backing away and swimming slowly. The fact is, the sharks here in Ascension are more inquisitive than any other sharks we've ever been with and nobody on the island really knows why. For us, this is an incredible reminder of how amazing nature is, and that man is not the ruler of all. This encounter only fuels our curiosity to learn more about the amazing waters around us, and also remind us to stay calm, breathe deep, and face the sharks. We truly believe that most shark bites are cases of mistaken identity, and they have much more to fear from us than we do of them. Like, She's jump, you're jumping ship for the night. Yeah, I am. I'm jumping ship. So in the mo in the morning, this boat's going to be gone. Like, guys, <laughs> guys. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. So we've got a cool little boat over there. I'm going to go over and explore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Report back to us, Manana. Yeah, I'll do. We'll be okay. standing by on one six. Let's one six. The alliance between France and England. You just thought. <laughs> okay, Good by. night, Elizabeth. Bye. 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 Okay. See you guys. Au revoir, bonne nuit. Thank you for the gift. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the gift. Guys. Guys. <laughs> okay, Ed, have fun. So we have just come to shore today to do some internet stuff. And it's a very interesting landing here. Like it's pretty sketchy, it's no swell today though. So it's kind of similar to St. Helena, but almost a little bit more tricky because I don't know, the locals have said you don't swim and it's kind of a interesting dock situation. But I think we have some kind of pulley system going on, like a loop and then the boys are gonna try to organize it so we can just put the dinghy out and then reel it in when we get back later. What's the mission now, Brian? Well, uh, when we got here on Friday, 
I met some cool people that happened to work in the internet office, like where the, all of the internet from the island originates from, and they let me leave a tablet using their Wi-Fi hotspot to upload videos. So we're gonna go check on it and see if it's done. I don't think you'd ever see that if I could like go into AT&T in America and be like, hey, can I leave my tablet in your office to upload videos to YouTube? <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> these guys are like, yeah, that's fine. Congrats, your videos are now on YouTube. All right, it all worked perfectly. It all worked? Yeah, thank, thank you so much. The closure of the airport was a huge problem for the only hotel on the island. With no other customers, they were more than happy to let us set up camp in the restaurant as long as we ordered a few beers every now and then. So the Dallas crew yeah. has set up camp today. <laughs> Are you Hi. Okay? So there's nobody here, but they've got electricity. We can use the Wi Fi. And so we've sort of camped out, taking up all their tables. Hard at work. It's on. Just yell when you. So you're in Delos Kitchen right now, yeah? Well, Elizabeth has been kind enough to get us some lunch supplies, but sometimes tools are limited, so I'm actually spreading this cheese with a used popsicle stick. And our knife for cutting tomatoes is a Coles Group Christmas gift card. <laughs> Never made a sandwich like this, but I think it's gonna be good. Use what you got, Blue, use what you got. Are you gonna catch a fish? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I mean, I've done pretty bad. <laughs> but the boys are waiting for me. I just need to catch my cider. Headline check. A couple of beers check. Gloves. A girl. Check. We got a girl. One girl check. One girl with a Savannah cider. We've got a knife. We've got a fishing line. We've got jackets. Camera. We're gonna come back with something big. See. Have fun, good luck. Nice to catch a fish. Oh, look at this. Fish eating to the sunset. Fish! 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 Like, after two minutes? <laughs> What did you learn, Lisa? How was your experience? It was my biggest fish. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see that picture of you. Nice. Lisa got the fish. Finally. After how many months? <laughs> <laughs> and you learned how to clean it? Chop its head how off? To clean it. I learned how to chop the head off. Oh, oh good Abe. Holy shit, we have a new surgeon on board. 
That's what you learn in Austria. All oh, you need is an axe. <laughs> and, an axe. <laughs> and a Mr. Brady to show you. And a Mr. Brady to show me. Uh -huh. But the rest is ninja power. Uh -huh. Good job. Next on Delos. Okay, so I'm on the beach and the turtles have started hatching. They've got these bastard birds trying to catch them. And we're going to protect them. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, guys. We do a massive hike to the highest peak on the island. Oh my god, we finally made it. And what did we learn from this? You don't drink a bottle of rum before you do a massive hike. And get invited to party down with some locals on the US Air Force Base. <laughs> Okay, go. I'm <laughs> <laughs> the wrong throat. <laughs> the wrong throat. <laughs> Good job, Kazuchan. It's <laughs> <laughs> my dance. It's my birthday dance today. No, 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 I told you the camera was not on. No, I turned the camera on. Bray is so stupid. You don't know what you're doing. Everything's out of frame. That's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be slightly out of focus. Bray, you're talking shit. You're talking shit. <laughs> Why is she Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> and Brian, here you go, is your shark. Shark words for Mr. Brian. Shark words. <clears throat> After being in Ascension for a few days, it was time to start focusing on why. Right away, I fucked it up. Bitch. Fuck, I hope that works, bro. I'm sweating my balls off. I'm stuttering all over the place. Seven minutes later. Shit.